Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to get ready with you. So um, I will be here doing my makeup and showing you how I do my everyday makeup look. It is very natural, very bronzy and super quick and easy to do. So before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I will leave all the products that I use in the order that I use them in the description box. So that I'll be down there, all the links will be down there. And yeah, I also wanted to say thank you to 500 of you. There are over 500 of you. That is so, so exciting. It means the world to have you guys comment. And I love hearing all your opinions and thoughts and where you're from. So do keep commenting as it makes me so, so happy. But um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Like always, I'll leave my Instagram up here for you. And just let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we are with my natural face, and I'm just gonna get a little bit closer to you so you can actually see how I'm applying products and stuff. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, we do have a little friend to cover up today. Um, so I have already put moisturizer. I've used my Clinique moisturizer, and then uh, SPF. Always, 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 always use SPF. Um, but the way I always get started is I actually start with this stick foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I use a little stippling brush. And I actually use this to contour. As you can tell, my face is very pale because I use a ton of sunscreen all the time. I pretty much don't let my face see the sun. So what I like to do is concentrate it in my cheek. I will bring it down here and around my chin. So once I can have that first layer, this is when I will go in with a lighter layer, right at the very end. So you can see it really defines that cheek on there. I do bring it down my nose as well. That is essentially what I do for kind of my base. I will be going back in with this in a little while. Um, that's kind of the base. I'm, I'm sorry, I look really washed out right now, but. So next, I'm gonna use concealer, um, and this is kind of what I treat as my foundation. I really only use concealer to um, spot conceal, and I think this is what gives you that really natural, flawless look, even though you are covering up and you are touching up the areas that you wanna touch up. Um, so I use two concealers, NARS and this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So, what I do, and this is the new NARS, it's so exciting, I love using fresh concealers. Oh, look at this, beautiful. Okay, so what I do, I wipe off the excess and I go in only to the like corner here and I put a tiny bit. I do this one. Go in with my instant age rewind eraser and this one is a little bit lighter and it's not as full coverage so i will go in on the outside and my eyelids on my chin if it's red if my chin isn't red i won't put it on but today it is and then i have a lot of redness typically around my nose so i will put it around there and mr Unwelcome is going to be dealt with later, but so what I do is I use this Morphe uh, Brush I couldn't recommend it enough. I will leave it in the description box. It is so so good But what I do is I start in the corner here, and I just tap it in Again my goal with my makeup is to look like I'm not wearing makeup <laughs> So if someone tells me oh my god, I didn't even realize that you weren't wearing makeup I've done my job so Tap that in really lightly, and then I'm going to start to blend in the outside of the concealer, and 
and then of course go with the eyelid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back in with this and I'm gonna darken up the spots that got a little bit too light with the concealer. So always wanna concentrate it kind of to the back of, kind of closer to your hairline. It's all about the blending, it's super natural. Really what I go like kind of for with my makeup looks is to look like I just came off the beach. <laughs> if I look like I just came off the beach and I'm a perfect like sun-kissed, I don't know, Baywatch person, we're good. So that is kind of the base here. And actually one of my friends um, asked me about this. So if you're watching this, Robin is for you. Um, but so when it comes to uh, setting powder, I guess some people struggle with um, this creasing. I do too. I mean, I don't. There isn't a single concealer that I don't crease with. Um, but something that I've discovered is instead of using a brush like this, which I still do use on regular days because it's quicker. Um, when I bought this Kat Von D powder, it came with a little puff. Let me try to find it. So my Kat Von D powder, the little mini one, came with a little puff, and this is what I use to actually set my under eyes and it works really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap it in there and then I'm gonna slowly press that in to my eyes. And something that I do sometimes too is if by the time I go to do this, my eye under eye is already creased, I will go in with the brush, fix it up and then go in with this and that really just helps it to not crease. I mean, realistically by the end of the day, no matter what I'm wearing, it creases. But this really helps it kind of slow that process down. And so I will just go in a little bit around the areas that need it, so. That's it, I don't use a lot of setting powder. Um, I think it makes it too kind of um, dry, I guess you could say. So I'm going to use this little brush that came with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I think I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with the NARS concealer. Um, when it comes to spot concealing, something that I do is I have to make sure that it matches my skin tone. Um, so sometimes it will be a different concealer color than my under eyes, but so we're gonna go in. And I'm only using a tiny amount. It's too dark. So we're gonna go in with this one now and try to lighten it up a bit. Unfortunately, with this, you are still gonna see <laughs> The massive bump, but the redness for the most part is gonna be. So I have a mirror here, so I'm trying to fix this. So, can you see? No more redness, which is good. That's what we want. Um, but this is the part that takes me the longest because I really am careful with spot concealing everything as opposed to just adding foundation and covering things that don't need to be covered. So that is what I do. Um, once that is covered up, we'll just go in with a brush with a little bit of thing, setting powder. And now the best part is eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I actually use my bronzer and I start with my eyeshadow before I do my bronzer. I don't know why, I just, I just do. Um, but I will go in with my bronzer and just a little brush. And for my eyes, what I do 
is I will start on the outer corner. Kind of like it's the most concentrated there. And then I will work towards the center of my eye. I'm, I, I can't do my eyes for, I can't. So this is what you get. This is the look I do every day. Only because it's the only one I can do. And when I'm feeling really snazzy, I just add a little glitter on the inner corner. So I just add this. And you can really bring it in as much as you would like. So that's kind of the final look. It's really natural. It's natural. <laughs> I only go for natural looks here. So for bronzer, like I said, I use the Marc Jacobs um, Omega bronzer. It is really, really, really good. So I just use a really big fluffy brush. And again, the same way I applied the um, contour, I'm just kind of follow where I applied that. And just go around the perimeters of my face. my face is so pale because I use so much uh, sunscreen and I don't use foundation what I do is I will just grab and I will literally buff this all over my face to kind of get that blended in and then I will add more where I need to kind of you know darken it up a little bit <laughs> And of course, don't forget your neck. It's really important that your neck matches your body, which I'm guilty of sometimes. But. And guys, that is pretty much it for my face. I keep it really quick, really easy. For me, less is more. So the less products I can use on my face, the better. Um, yeah, so that's for my complexion, essentially. So now for brows, I have what I like to call virgin eyebrows. I've never touched my eyebrows. Um, partially because, to be honest, my mom always uh, told me that she regretted touching her eyebrows and doing them. So, I just have never touched my brows and uh, recently I actually started using brow gel and I really really like it so yeah it's just that's what I do yeah. no so I use a glossier boy brow so so good I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. There is currently construction in my building, which is really, really unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I just hope you can't hear that. So anyways, that is kind of what I do with my brows. I do try to make sure that the darkest part is right up at the front. Very simple, it doesn't take me long. I don't have to spend time on my eyebrows. And my favorite part is eyelashes. So I'm really picky with my mascara because again, I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look clumpy. So the best mascara I have ever tried is the Glossier. Um, Lash Leg, I think it's called. Uh, couldn't recommend it enough. Super easy to take off. <clears throat> um, love it, but I ran out. So because there's only a little bit left, I use this on my lower lashes. But for now, because I haven't ordered it yet, I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise, and I think it gives me a very similar effect. Sorry, I almost forgot to curl my lashes. Curl your lashes. Not like me, don't forget to do it like I did. <laughs> so, curling your lashes. This is just some random eyelash curler. You can buy them at Sephora, drugstore, really anywhere. I can hear them, the construction getting closer to my uh, floor, so I'm gonna try and speed this up because not good. <laughs> so 
that is essentially it and so that pretty much wraps up kind of the face the eyebrows eyelashes everything the last thing i do is a lip balm so i just put that on if you haven't noticed i love glossier <laughs> and i kind of i really love their approach to makeup so glossier's lip balm is my favorite so 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 good um in terms of lipstick today, um, I think I'm going to use Yash, but I'm not sure if it's for mask, so maybe I'll just put lip gloss on and just go with that. So, once I'm done my face, what I like to do is take a really good look in the mirror, so I have my mirror here, and I'm going to make sure that everything is blended really, really well to make sure that everything looks seamless and natural, essentially like a second skin. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know a few of you asked me to share this with you and I love doing my makeup. It's one of my favorite things to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will leave my Instagram up here for you. Uh, so do follow me there and don't forget to subscribe. That way we can keep seeing each other and chatting with each other. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.